Hey, and welcome to a new video at the Woman of Motorsport channel. Today we have a very special new video with just Hannah and myself. We're going to do a very, our very own tier list. Not, I've told Hannah nothing about it yet. I know so nothing. I know. just made the tears. <laughs> she just made the tears. So we have got tier. Obviously, <laughs> you all know what got tier means. Like the best of everything, nothing can be better. Then we have the green flag. It's like a great racer, great driver. We have a yellow. That's yeah, a solid driver, good. Then we get to the red flag, and that means it's me. Not not too good, but still eh. And then we have the final, and that's the black flag, and that basically means. Yeah, just leave. <laughs> this is just, again, our opinion. You don't have to agree with it. If you don't, that's fine. We don't know any of these drivers personally. We just know what is out there on the internet. And we're going to be building our opinion on this. Sleep. <laughs> I will put um, the link of the tier list down in the description. So you can also make it and send it to us to share your opinions. On any social media. We do not have Twitter yet. But we do have an Instagram, so put it in your stories or posts about it and link us. So let's get started with the first one. Ooh, and first I'm one we have, um, we have, oh, wait, what am I doing? We have Dan Tictum. Oh, opinions. <laughs> a bad driver necessarily when he does it accordingly to the rules <laughs> so i'd say i mean i'm kind of excited of what is going to like happen in formula e that's where he's going i think that's right okay. yeah yeah, so yeah maybe this will be like his you know second chance or third or fourth i don't know uh but yes i think yellow flag is pretty accurate but if you look at the stats in F2 at the moment, he has just as much podiums as Oscar and Zoo. I so. saw that earlier and I was like, really? That yeah, I so. did not know that. <laughs> so we're going to put him at yellow flag? Yeah, I think yellow flag is pretty accurate. Then yeah. take him yellow flag. I'm very curious about your opinion on this one. Is George Russell. We we. <laughs> Honestly, like, he's a good driver. Like, he brought that Williams onto the podium. I still do not know how. But I think, I don't know if he's got here. I think we have to wait till Mercedes next year. Yeah. Like, I he's feel, definitely I feel a green flag for me personally. We I mean, if you, if you watched him drive last year in the, in the Mercedes, if... If the team wouldn't have fucked up the pit stop, he would have definitely won that race. And he wasn't even familiar with that car. So I think it's... he definitely deserves the green flag. Yes, 100%. And maybe we could, you know, redo the video next year. Then maybe he will move up to God tier. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, next one. I hope I'll pronounce your name all right. Sorry if I don't. Please don't hate me. <laughs> First, uh, next up is... Nera Marty, W driver, uh, W series driver. I think it's hard to tell because, you know, we don't know too much about her yet. Um, I feel like she's quite a strong driver. I mean, it's not without a reason that Prema put her in the F3 car. Definitely. I mean, she, like, he's Prima's definitely like... a great driver, and I think she can even make it into. Formula 3 if she wanted to. I think hmm, that's hard. Definitely not a red flag. But so I'm kind of like in between yellow flag and green flag just because like I I don't know too much about her racing career uh, and like how she's doing. But like if Prema decided on, you know, putting her in that car, um, there has to be like some form of, you know, base like that mm -hmm. she's actually a good driver so hmm i think for now for me personally yellow flag is still 
the base, but I think she's definitely like green flag potential. Yeah, like again, if we <coughs> the video next year, we'll see where she end up. Oh, Siri is talking to me. I'm not asking anything. Logan Sargent. Oi. <laughs> That's a difficult one. Basing it on just his racing. Not a red flag. Like, he's doing decently, obviously. He wouldn't have gotten into the Williams, like, junior program or academy. I don't know what it's called for them. just feel like there could be more. But is is he on the same level as Dan Tictum for you? No. Dan Because... Tictum, racing-wise, is higher. So, are you su suggesting we should put them in green flag? Uh, I guess, <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. If we put if we put Logan on yellow flag, I think then he's definitely green flag. green flag. Yes, no, I I agree. Moving on <laughs> to the next one, the man who created all this chaos, the one and only Ollie Caldwell. Cal uh, Ollie. Cold world. Dif difficult name, honestly. I still fuck it <laughs> up sometimes. Honestly, I think he's like a very decent driver. I mean, he's racing for Formula Two in the next in the last two races, which I'm very excited about. When I saw that, like, I, I that made my day so much better, and it was a horrible day. I think he has definitely a lot of like stuff coming his way like in the first half of the season he did very well lately like yeah he was still in the top 10 with the in the driver's championship which was still you know mentionable and he honestly had <coughs> quite a bit of bad luck this yeah, season definitely i don't think i would put him at the same level as dan tictum yet to be honest even though <sighs> god <laughs> But is he on the same level as Logan for you? Or is Logan going down a little bit? We would we, we need more categories. This is ah I think Ollie has a lot of potential <laughs> and it's kind of sad that he's not really into an uh, drive a younger driver academy, is he? Definitely. He deserves to be in some like no offense, but if Logan is in one, Ollie definitely deserves to be in one. So Alfa Romeo, Sauber, come on, hit our boy up. Give him a seat. He deserves it. <laughs> yes, definitely. So, Ollie, yellow? Yellow, but like front, front yellow. Front yellow. <laughs> Let's put him here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on to the next one. Championship leader in Formula 2. I have a bias. I have a bias towards that man because I love him, okay? That is unfair. So Hannah would definitely put him up there. Honestly, <laughs> good. but is he better than George? Would he beat George? I okay, that's hard to tell. <laughs> I mean, Oscar is definitely a great driver. I mean, he's leading the championship for quite a few races, and it's still his rookie year. Um, F3 in his rookie year as well. So I think the man has a lot of potential. No offense to a Fernando Alonso, but <laughs> no. I mean, I love Fernando. And people oh, will call for me now, but I think he should make place for Oscar for sure. Not right now, but after this contract, go retire. Enjoy I'm your days off. Leave the man race, please. His runner up, Quan Yu Zhou. <sighs> I mean, he's a good driver, you know, stats do say so. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I would put him at God tier, though. I, I'd say put him up there with Dan and George. A little, you know, intersection right here. Just because you don't like Guan Yo Zhou in the, like, F1 seat, there is no excuse for you to be racist. Like... If anyone's watching out there that left some kind of like racist comment underneath his post, 
because he's Asian. Honestly, that is fucked up. I hope you know that and it is not okay. Don't be an asshole. Sorry. Just treat the people with respect you want to receive yourself. Yes, exactly. Sorry, sorry. That's my little... No, that's a good thing. You said it. Well. <laughs> that's a good statement. Yes, definitely. That's up to you because she's German and you're... Yeah, not German, but... <laughs> I'm Austrian. I know German. Sophia, let me see. Klaasch. 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 <laughs> Where do you put her? I love her so much. Same. <laughs> I love her so much. And I feel like in D- she's been doing so well in DTM. And I want her back in the formula series, please. I mean, if you survive a crash like she did and <laughs> come back, like... That car was an absolute, She's an absolute queen. I think definitely green flag. Yeah, really? Yes. I would, I would maybe even put her yeah, up here. Okay, I, that's interesting. That's interesting. I don't current like I don't have the stats of her like formula feeder series career right now. Mm-hmm. But like I think she put like her team when in DTM into the points for like the first time. And in the Le Mans series, she also did really well. So like you're right, she's got here. Oh, oh, I can already see this. I can already <laughs> see this. Oh, no. Here we go, our very own Italian, Antonio Giovinacci. I feel really bad for him, honestly. No, 2070 was his first year. Really? Okay. Let me let me retrain. Oh, no, 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 no. There was there was oh there was just because uh Wehrlein was injured. So First race was in 2019. So that means that this is his third year. Just because I feel bad, I want to put him even like this. But that's not fair because... Hey, put him like first yellow flag. Uh, Like, yeah. Yeah. Kill him, (laughs) Islet. Put him there. Put him there. I had to put him in there. (laughs) That man deserved better. That man deserved so much better. I feel like they treat him in so badly. He no. should have had a seat in F1. I mean, At least for one year. I, I think, honestly, he, he might deserve a seat more than Joe does. But so. Yellow flag, like, in the front. Shall we move on to the next one? Oh, you have a bias. You have a bias there. That's your bias. I mean, my <laughs> very favorite Dutch driver, Nick Vliet. currently are offended. But honestly, he's a great driver. Like, he, he won is. the FE Cup. He's great. I think green flag where he is right now is perfect. I disagree. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is okay. That's okay. But we'll put it in the middle then. Yeah, we'll put him in the middle. I kind of want to have like, like you know how Porsche is it Porsche? Um, yeah. twenty one in 2016, eh, 2016, 2026. Um, I kind of want to be want it to be like more drivers. I think we should start our own warm team. Definitely. Yeah. I would I would hire like almost every driver. I think I would hire Callum. I would hire Nick. I would hire Ollie. I would hire. Wait, who else have I on my? A few others that I have on my list already. Yeah, definitely though. Yeah. As, yeah, me. as our lovely court said, Frenchmen with a heart. Frenchmen, they just do it. They do. <laughs> I mean, even wearing this little scrunchy fear. We love the support, honestly. So, sorry, can I do a little plug? <laughs> sure. If Not you want to get an F1 scrunchy, I don't know if you can see it, but by Max, she's, she's an absolute queen. I have another one from 
Charles as well. <laughs> he he is like behind George. Be- yeah, move on. In front of George, I, that's hard. <laughs> that is unfair. I mean, like. I mean, the difference in car makes it a little hard. But if you, uh, I'm. I'm scared to say this because I know people will come for me, but I think, I think, I think Pierre deserves the seat at Red Bull more than Checo. I'm sorry. I think by dropping them, at dropping him, they, like Red Bull, made a huge mistake. In front, not before. Honestly, put them on the same spot, but. <sighs> Yeah, like this or before? Uh, I can't decide. Up it's up to you. Okay, I'll make the decision. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the next one. I think she she's Dutch. Not sure. Is Maya Wook. That's a good one. I mean, she's in the Ferrari driver program. Like, you have yeah. to have some talent to be in there. I want to see her in like a Prima car, just a fast car, like how she would do there. Because I feel like yeah. the Iron Dames, like, okay, fair enough. But like, she deserves a better car. Look at the stats. She would be like behind Logan, kind of. But that's because of the really, really slow car. Mm-hmm. So I but put her like behind Ollie. Yeah. I want to put her in the green flag. <laughs> you are so making decisions today. Okay, wait a second. I'll be back, people. Ah, uh, hard decisions, hard decisions. We have a little guest. Oh. Look at it. We love him. We love him. To another driver, another Ferrari Academy driver. (laughs) You might have already seen. Yes, I think I can guess by the hair. (laughs) Our favorite, where is Wally? Marcus Armstrong. (laughs) I don't know. I I know you like him. I like all of these men. Yeah, honestly. honestly, same. And the women too. Like, yeah. I don't know if you can tell by my rainbow duck, but like, yeah, anyways, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But he is, <coughs> I mean, he is a talented driver. He's in a Ferrari driver <coughs> academy. He's doing great, generally. But this season is not really his strongest year. I feel like I want to put him behind Callum, at, like bef- in front of Ollie, but behind Givenazzi. Can we put him just like next to Callum, just to have them next to each other? <laughs> I, I miss that duo. I miss that duo. So. I mean, I just want to see them be- besides each other. Oh, and it fits too, kind of. Like the pictures fit. Okay, moving on to the last one. I think this man is an absolute legend. The last one is... (coughs) Stop! Go away! (laughs) I don't want you here. It's Juan Manuel Correa. JMC in the house! Sorry. (laughs) Um, ah, To be honest, and I know this is going to sound really embarrassing, I don't know a lot about him. I mean, if you, as a driver, can make such... Can you stop? I'm trying to tell the story. If you can make such a quick recovery after such a big, big crash. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, my I mean, God. That makes me emotional that, thinking about that it. That he moved back into that car. That's absolutely amazing. That yes. He, dare to do that he has like a lot of strength within him so i think that definitely deserves some credit and i put him in like 
just out of respect. You know what I, I mean? The power that this man has. Yes, mentally, like physically, it's just a big amount of respect for him. And I think he's still a great racer. I think that's it. Yeah, this is our tier list. So don't forget to um, share your opinions. You can leave a comment, but you can also make the tier list yourself. The link will be in the description. You can uh, make screenshot, tag us, uh, like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, subscribe and turn on notifications. Yes, yeah, so and check out our social media, link in the description, our TikTok, our Instagram, all of that beautiful stuff. I hope yeah. you all have a great day. This is coming out after Thanksgiving. It is filmed one day after Thanksgiving. We don't celebrate it. But if you do, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. If it comes out around the Christmas time, Merry Christmas. <laughs> so um, thanks for watching and until the next awesome. video. Bye. Bye.